Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions uh, on substituted benzenes, focusing uh, on the effects of those substituents on the rates of subsequent reactions uh, and other complicating factors. So in, in this particular example, I have anisole as uh, my compound and if I just use a generic electrophile, we know that anisole is an activator. We can go look at that, look that up in some table somewhere. And we know that anisole is an ortho para director. Put these two things over here, All right? And so that means that we know that the major products of this reaction are going to be. Um, Substitution at para, and I'm listing para first on purpose. And as soon as I finish drawing ortho, you can hear about it. Um, our para and ortho, and usually para beats ortho. Steric reasons, and and. The, the degree of, of beating there has a lot to do with sterics. Uh, so when their things are small, there's going to be a lot more ortho than when things are big. But I'm going to discuss, well, I've got, I've got something lingering in here, left over from my halogen video, apologize. Um, I'm going to talk about some specific electrophiles here uh, and some trouble that can be caused. So we're going to consider doing uh, a friedel crafts alkylation here. And in this case, we're taking a, a ring that's activated. And, and even if we only consider the likelihood of the para product as the major product, um, we now have a ring with two activating groups. And our product is more reactive than our starting compound. And we'll end up with methyl groups all over it. Probably at least here and here, if not and, and on, a, on the other spots as well. That's trouble. Um, generally, when you're putting an activating group on a ring, it's going to increase the reactivity of the ring for subsequent substitution, and nowhere is this more of trouble than in the friedel crafts reaction, especially with strong activators. With moderate activators, it can be controlled, but with strong activators, it's tricky. So it's like strong uh, activators are prone to overreaction. Uh, if we switch out our um, we switch out our reaction now uh, for a halogenation reaction, now uh, the halogens are electron withdrawing, so they are. They are deactivated. All right, so the product is less activated than uh, the reactant, but still it's no CH3 group still dominates, and so it's tricky uh, to stop. Uh, the the reaction from continuing and putting multiple bromines onto the ring, and it's a, and it's a topic for another ver, uh, video. While why these other bromines end up ortho to the methoxy group and not ortho to the bromine, that video is coming in the, the sequence on using this information for synthesis. It takes a real uh, it takes a a, a really strong deactivator 
All right, and it takes a moderate or a strong deactivator. So let's let's just nitrate and assault. Nitro group is a strong deactivator, so it, this this product is now much less activated, and so further reaction is unlikely. It can be made to happen, but it's unlikely. Uh, you know, it, it, this reaction probably. Uh, it's pretty rapid even at room temperature and, and can be made more controlled by cooling it on ice. The second su subsequent reaction might require heating and the third reaction might require uh, some really intense conditions. So this is a consequence that, that can happen for all strong activators. Uh, overreaction is a serious consideration, especially when you're putting on other activators, uh, but even weak deactivators aren't uh, enough to, to shut down shut down the, the multiple reaction. And then I want to, let's go grab, I wanted to do one other thing, um, Friedel Crafts reactions. Friedel Crafts reactions do not work well on moderately and strongly deactivated rings. It's just the sad truth. So this reaction that I've drawn here with acetophenone, attempting to put a methyl group on acetophenone, this is not gonna work out well. If the reaction works at all, uh, the yield will be low. So generally we consider these to not be particularly productive reactions. Um, Frito Crafts reactions can be more made to work on halogenated benzenes, but um, that's because those are, are only weak deactivators. So this is the, the almost the end of my video sequence on, on uh, substituent effects. I'm just going to do a couple of, of more examples uh, in the final video and remind and, and wrap it up with a reminder that it's the substituent that is causing this behavior. It is not the electrophile. Thank you for watching.